G'day everyone, Brian here. The story of Jesus entering into Jerusalem is dramatic because of the way that Jesus arrives and the crowds that are around him and all that they have to say as well. Yesterday I read the part of the story where Jesus sent some disciples off to find the cult. Here's what happens next. They went and found a cult outside in the street, tied at the doorway. As they untied it, some people standing there asked, What are you doing, untying the colt? They answered as Jesus had told them to, and the people let them go. When they brought the colt to Jesus and threw their cloaks over it, he sat on it. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, while others spread branches they had cut in the fields. Those who went ahead and those who followed shouted, Hosanna! Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our father David. Hosanna in the highest. Jesus entered Jerusalem and went to the temple. He looked around at everything, but since it was already late, he went out to Bethany with the twelve. So Jesus comes on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. Why? Well, that's to fulfill an ancient prophecy from Zechariah. Here's what we read in Zechariah chapter 9 and from verse 9. Rejoice greatly, O daughter of Zion. Shout, daughter of Jerusalem. See, your king comes to you, righteous and having salvation, gentle and riding on a donkey, on a colt, the foal of a donkey. He's one of those many prophecies that point to the coming Messiah. And here Jesus is showing himself to be that coming Messiah. The people around him understood it and they shouted. The statements that they shouted, Hosanna, save. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Something else from the Psalms. Coming kingdom of our father David, a messianic prophecy that the kingdom of David, those glory days would come again. Oh, but it's gonna be so much greater than that. The people are shouting their praises as Jesus comes into Jerusalem. Now, we don't shout in church today, and that might be a good thing, or it might mean we're missing out on some expression of worship. But these people shouted in celebration as Jesus came to Jerusalem. Do you have a sense of celebration when you think of what Jesus has done for you? I hope you do. To recognize the, the joy of being able to say, Hosanna, save us. Not in some, is this the man who can save us? But in certainty, yes, this is the man who can save us. Hosanna, blessed is he, Jesus, who comes in the name of the Lord. I hope you can celebrate Jesus today, even though it's a Tuesday. Have a great day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.